Welcome to the weekly weather briefing for Monday, March 24, 2014. My name is Rocco Pilotti. Uh, as uh, always, forecast change, so check the website for uh, updates. Uh, it's listed below. An overview, uh, today and tonight, uh, it's pretty much the driest part and pretty benign. You may see uh, clouds invade the sky from the west, and then the forecast gets pretty cluttered, typical of spring for the next seven days. Tuesday through Thursday, uh, we're pretty much unstable. We've got showers and then maybe some thunderstorms in the forecast. I expect the uh, thunderstorms to be generally the weak type. They're short-lived, uh, gusty wind, and uh, you know, the pretty wet uh, seem to be the problem with these uh, typical late March storms, along with the snow levels that kind of oscillate all over the place. You might see some soft hail, maybe some grapple, and you might even see some brief accumulations due to the intensity if they're really intense and the time of day that it falls. So kind of keep that in mind, and most people that, that live in this area kind of expect uh, that to happen in late March with uh, thunderstorms and showers. Friday and Saturday, uh, we have a very wet system. It's a more stable type of flow. Uh, it's generally valley rain with uh, mountain snow. We might see some river rises and uh, stream flow increases around this time, so keep an eye on that. Uh, Sunday and Monday, that whole system translates uh, east that I referred to for Friday and Saturday, and we're back under an unstable air mass similar to the Tuesday and Thursday part of the forecast. So we have cooling with uh, lowering snow levels, uh, and it allows the uh, the river levels to drop, and we, we'll look at some of those uh, river forecasts. Uh, and we have thunderstorms in the forecast. Gusty winds near any of the convection, even thunderstorms, is, is a good uh, likelihood to happen, typical of March. Forecast temperatures I won't spend too much time on because they don't change much for the seven days uh, for most lowland and valley locations. Pretty much they're going to be mid-40s and 50s during the day with 30s at night. Uh, and just remember that the snow level is just going to kind of move all over the place. We might give you a number, but it, it's likely to change throughout the day, and that's very typical of March. This is a, a global satellite uh, mosaic where a whole bunch of satellite pictures are s strung together to give you an idea of uh, the weather that we expect for the next seven days. And it stretches all the way west uh, to, uh, to Asia, Japan, and you see Australia on the lower left of the screen. Uh, things that I'm going to point out, that's first, is the cold and unstable air mass that's behind a very narrow frontal zone that's going to move through uh, tomorrow, Tuesday. And then uh, that, that conditionally cold and unstable air mass behind it which could keep thunderstorms going, uh, uh, stays over our area into like uh, Thursday night. So that's why we have the convection um, consisting of showers and thunderstorms and uh, maybe some gusty wind associated with that air mass. The second uh, uh, part, which would be that uh, stable uh, uh, Pineapple Express type uh, scenario uh, for Friday and Saturday, uh, you see some tumor graphics that showed up. Uh, we had an old typhoon. Uh, Kaloi. It was a typhoon. In this graphic, it's mentioned as a tropical depression. It uh, put some of its moisture into the frontal zone that we have coming in for Friday and Saturday. Things to keep in mind when you have a, a, a tropical a, a tropical energy and moisture getting ejected in the mid latitudes is it does cause problems with the model. So the timing could be off, uh, you know, give or take, you know, maybe as much as 18 to 22 hours. Uh, when this frontal zone comes in and it exits, but uh, it's going to be wet when it comes in uh, because it's got a lot of moisture and energy to work with. Uh, right now we think Friday and Saturday will be the day that it works its way through, especially in North Idaho. Coeur d'Alene River forecast at uh, Cataldo shows this trend, so does the St. Joe at St. Mary, that the actual peaks and the values might not be that Act like totally absolute the, the right numbers, but it gives you a nice conceptual model or image in your head on how you expect the the flow to evolve. Here we have the precipitation starting to influence the river uh, stage as it goes up, so there's more stream flow. It looks like it peaks around Thursday. This is the, the convective showers and thunderstorms that's in the forecast. And then for uh, Friday and Saturday, we see continued rainfall uh, influencing the uh, stage, although the rates of increase might not be that accurate between this one and this one, but but the general idea is it's going to give you a peak uh, if everything works through. Uh, 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 Saturday is when the, the the rain with the the tropical pineapple express and the the moisture feed stops, and then you have a little bit of a lag involved. So by a Sunday afternoon or Sunday evening, the peak happens and then it falls, and that makes sense because that's when we're under that conditionally unstable cold air mass again. The 8 to 14 day outlook shows uh, near normal temperatures, which in spring is everywhere, 
and then the precipitation outlook shows a wet, which makes sense because spring is uh, when it's active, it could be pretty active and wet. And uh, when I look at this here, and if my arrow shows it, I could visualize maybe the jet stream being where this near normal is. So we're well to the north of the jet. So I would think that this is a cold, unstable air mass, typical in March, where the snow level is all over the place. And uh, we get convective showers and thunderstorms, and the thunderstorms will probably be low top pulse and short lived, and gusty wind being the, the minor or the, the, the bigger issue with them. So, to summarize Tuesday to Thursday, we got the showers with the weak thunderstorms in the forecast, gusty winds, spring mix of precipitation, including potential for brief accumulations, snow levels or oscillate all over the place. Friday and Saturday, wet, got a pineapple express uh, with that. Uh, old typhoon that, that uh, got uh, absorbed into it, or at least parts of it. Uh, that's going to uh, influence uh, stream flow. Sunday, Monday, unstable and showery with more thunderstorms possible. The stream flow should peak Sunday because there's a little bit of a lag between the, the, the stable and heavier precip for Friday and Saturday. Uh, but then we have thunder going, maybe in more showers and thunderstorms going into the forecast Sunday and Monday, and the snow levels drop. Stay informed. Uh, you're probably watching this on YouTube, but you can follow us on Twitter and uh, on Facebook. My name is Rocco.